Let's solve problem 4.23 for microelectronic circuits, 8th edition by Sedgwin Smith. Listed below are the results of measurements taken on several different junction diodes. For each diode, the data provided are the current diode current I and the corresponding diode voltage V. In each case, estimate the source, cor source current <laughs> IS and the diode current at 750 millivolts. All right, so we have this diode. It has some current going over it, and it has some corresponding voltage V. And as I've stated before in my other videos, the current voltage relationship across a diode, usually what happens is at about 0 0.7 volts, the current across the diode will begin to increase. And as we get past that 0 0.7 volt point, it will increase exponentially. And like the other problems that we've done from this section, going to use a very important equation. The diode current is equal to the source current, IS, times E to the power of the diode voltage divided by the thermal voltage, where the thermal voltage is equal to 25 milliamps. It is a property of semiconductors. So using this information, we can solve for IS. So in part A, we have that I is equal to 10 milliamps and V is equal to uh, 700 millivolts. So we can say 10 milliamps is equal to IS times E to the power of the voltage. 700 millivolts is the same as 0 0.7 volts divided by 0 0.025 volts. And we can just isolate the source current by dividing the exponential function. So IS will be equal to 10 milliamps divided by e to the power of 0 0.7 volts divided by 0 0.025 volts. So that is equal to 6.91 times 10 to the negative 15 amps. Now let's address the second question. We want to estimate the diode current at 750 millivolts. So when I solved problem 4.22, I showed a derivation. You're free to refer to that video for the specific algebra. Basically, if I multiply my current by 10, that is going to be equal to E to the power of my change in voltage divided by my thermal voltage. And again, this is I times 10. So therefore, the delta voltage is equal to thermal voltage times the natural log of 10, which is equal to uh, 60 millivolts. And this is when I is increased by a power of 10. So we're at 700 millivolts, and we know that in order to add 60 millivolts, we just need to multiply I times 10. So therefore, 10 milliamps times 10 is equal to 100 milliamps. And this is when V equals 700 millivolts plus 60 millivolts. So this is a pretty close estimation. I'm going to call this good. The problem does just say to estimate, not give the specific value. So we'll go ahead and say the diode current is 100 milliamps. Part B. So again, we're going to use this equation here to derive that the source current is equal to I divided by E to the diode voltage divided by thermal voltage. So in this problem, B, current is 1 milliamp divided by E to the power of the diode voltage, 700 millivolts divided by 25 millivolts. This is equal to 6.91 times 10 to the negative 16 amps. Notice how this answer is just uh, a tenth of part A. Part A was 6.91 times 10 to the negative 15. In part B, we reduce the uh, diode current by the power of 10. 
So our source current was also reduced by a power of 10. So this shows us that down current is directly proportional to source current. Just a little tidbit there. Then again, for the down current at 750 millivolts, we know that if we add 60 millivolts, we just multiply our down current by 10. So therefore, at 760 millivolts, the down current is equal to 10 times 1 milliamp, which is equal to 10 milliamps. And that's just a rough estimation. It's not quite at 750, but it's pretty close at 760. Part C. So IS is equal to down current over e to the power of diode voltage divided by thermal voltage, which in this problem the current is 10 amps, divided by e to the power of the diode voltage is 800 millivolts divided by 25 millivolts. Get my calculator. It's equal to 1.27 times 10 to the negative 13 amps. Now, here we're starting above 750, right, we're at 800 millivolts. So we want to subtract 60 millivolts to get to 740 millivolts, which is a pretty close estimate. So before, when we added 60, we multiplied the Dow curve by 10, right? So here it's just kind of the opposite relationship. If we subtract 60 millivolts, we're going to divide the diode current by 10. So it's going to be 10 amps divided by 10, which is equal to 1 amp. For part D, so once again, our source current is equal to diode current divided by E to the power of the diode voltage divided by the thermal voltage. Our diode current is 0 0.1 milliamps. The diode voltage is 700 millivolts, and we have our thermal voltage of 25 millivolts. Then let me get my calculator out. And that is 6.91 times 10 to the negative 17 amps. Then for our new diode current at 750 millivolts, we're at 700 millivolts, so I'm going to add 60 millivolts to so get pretty close at 760 millivolts. Therefore, we need to multiply our diode current by 10. This be 10 times 0 0.1 milliamp, which is equal to 1 milliamp. And there we go. Okay, let's solve problem E. So I said the de derivation, right? So IS is equal to the current which is now 10 microamps divided by e to the power of the diode voltage, 600 millivolts, divided by thermal voltage, 25 millivolts, and this gives us 3.78 times 10 to the negative 16 amps. And now for our new uh, diode current, 750 millivolts. So this time we're at 600 millivolts. So if I add 60 millivolts, that will get me to 660 millivolts. And it's still not really close, so let's add another 60 millivolts to get to 720 millivolts. And that's basically as close as we'll get for this estimation process. So because we added twice, we just need to multiply our diode current by 10 twice. It's so basically multiplied by 100 this time. 10 microamps, and that gives us 1,000 microamps. And that's equal to 1 milliamp. So there we go.